Bear poles shiver in the gale that's blown the surf champions from Bells Beach. But it takes more than a gale to drive old Pa Bendel indoors. Of course, Pa isn't out there to win anything. He just wants to prove you're never too old for anything. And while the competitors sit and wait for the sea to send them waves worthy of champions, Pa battles through the choppy soup to prove his point. It's a rough wave, but he catches it, even if the ride finishes up a short one. I am 65, but I'm not a pensioner. <laughs> I don't think I am. You've been traveling around doing the, this for a long time, or? No, what? I started at the age of 54. Yeah. And then, by virtue of the fact it's an individual sport, I enjoy it. And then my wife, uh, she got a bit suspicious I might drift out to sea, so she decided to do it yeah. two years later. What happened to your eye? My eye, I had that at sunset, in 1964, that's in Hawaii, I caught a big wave, but I didn't know how to handle it. I hit the reef, smashed my nose, broke two ribs, and about three months later, the eye got double vision. Yeah. And now, I see everything in the world that is double, with the exception of one thing. What's that? Money. Uh, <laughs> catch. Listen, tell me, um, what about your eye, though, and your double vision regarding your balance for your serving? Does this worry you at all? Uh, no. I uh, put this on so I can keep my eye open. Yeah. Before I put it on, I lost all my teeth because I fell on the board, see? I went to step forward and, and hang five, and I went down and smashed my teeth. Yeah. How long do you think you'll be able to keep this up for? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to ask that guy up there. All right, what about Ma? Where's she? Can we have a word with oh, her? Oh, Ma! Come on, Ma! Here she is, the old one. Well, how old's Ma? Oh, Ma's oh, old. Can we ask 60. this of a lady? Oh, yes. Yeah. Hello. Oh, I was 60 in February. Do you worry about him at all, getting out there with all those waves? He's out enough to look after himself. <laughs> what about you? Do you go out yourself? Oh, of course. Now, you're down here at the uh, particular moment for competitions. Are you entering or, or just spectating? Oh, well, we, well we've come down to see the world titles. And uh, getting in a ride now and again when we can. What do you think about the kids today, the surfers? Oh, well, I think they're mighty, most of them. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> they are. It's a fabulous sport. It's an individual sport. And now it's, it's getting to be a social sport, more than it was before. It was too professional. But mm. now the kids take it. And as long as they don't continue through life, you know, professionally, go to school and get educated and get a trade or a profession, and then serve their accomplishments. So How do you maintain yourselves financially with this, just spreading around like this? Well, we have a, we have a business up in Calander, a uh, flat business, and uh, we manage it somehow. Yeah. Somehow. <laughs> uh, I suppose we better let you, uh, what, get into your van, which is pretty well set up, to take you anywhere and get yourself warm. Oh, yes, but we're with it, you know, all the time. Jog in the morning. We do when all we're kinds of uh, activities. Oh, yes, and now we're, we're anticipating going snow skiing. You can see our dogs are all equipped with their fur coats on to go snow skiing. As far as Pa and Ma Bendel are concerned, they don't surf who sit and watch. While the surf's up, they'll be there, hanging five across the generation gap, even if it's only the practice waves at lawn.